Hi, welcome back to the channel. Peace and blessings, friends. Peace and blessings. I'm back with another video, and as you can see from the title, it's predictive programming. Predictive programming. Let's see what this is about. This is something these evil people do in order to ward back the bad karma from themselves. So they got to put stuff out there. Okay, but before we get started, I want to thank you all, the new subscribers. Thank you for uh, coming along with me. Please hit the subscribe post notification bell. Hit the thumbs up and share the video or make a comment. All right? All right, so yeah, this predictive programming, the reason why I want to talk to you about it is because it is something uh, that's happening a lot and we're, we're seeing it a lot, right? And so I just wanted to talk to you about it because there's something specific going on with this September 23. So they they want to put, they've got to, whoever these people are, the powers that be, you know, they've got to put out what they're planning and you have to accept it. So it amazes me just how many people are still lulled to sleep by entertainment who are so wrapped up with this world that, I don't know, uh, and, the, and and I guess that's what these people are hoping for. They're banking on you, on you being wrapped up in this world and entertainment so that they can do what they plan to do, okay? So they keep pumping us with more and more of this stuff, and it's just like a drug, for real. It's, it, it's like a drug, and so how are we going to get out of this mindset? Listen to this verse. This is Psalms 120, verse 1 and 2. And it says, in my distress, I cried unto Yahuwah, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Yah, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. This is a prayer. This must be your prayer, asking him to deliver you from their matrix and to put you or allow you into his kingdom. This is something that's necessary uh, because of what we see going on. Okay, so here's the thing. It seems that the date September 23 is a day of something being planned. And we see it a lot in these movies. Well, I don't go to movies. I don't watch movies, so I shouldn't say I do watch movies. I just haven't watched any of these kind of movies in so long. I don't know. So this is what I'm hearing. That a lot of these movies, which is a false flag, or is it, um, telling us about something that they're planning. And so the date is September 23. Well, that's next week. And I'll be up in the mountains enjoying the Most High and His beautiful nature. And I won't have internet. So I, don't, I won't know if any of those things, uh, anything will happen until I come down off the mountain. So we'll see. I want you to be aware so you can be uh check it out if what's going on okay and and even come back and let me know if i don't find out something so what is a false flag so a false flag is an operation in an act committed with the intent of disguising the actual source of responsibility and pinning blame on another party the term false flag originated, listen to this, in the 16th century as an expression meaning an intentional misrepresentation of someone's allegiance. Can you imagine this? I'm just saying, I've just been hearing about false flags for about the last 10 years or so. So this means that this deceit has been going on for years. The God of this world has blinded their eyes. The God of this world. He's been subtle. He's that snake, that old serpent called the devil for sure. Okay, so let me give you a few of the movies that uh, mention the date September 23 in it. There are several, but I'm going to mention a few. There's The Big Bang Theory, the movie The Big Bang Theory, the movie The Pandemic, Ghostbuster, Tomorrowland, Knowing, Julia and Julia, Julie and Julia, and Sleeping Hollow. That's just to name a few. All mentioning September 23, something catastrophic happening. 
asteroids, rapture. I don't believe in the rapture, but just all kinds of stuff. I don't, all kinds of stuff in these movies, okay? So the thought that it must be, most people are thinking it must be September 23, 23, because all of these movies are past, okay? And nothing has happened on September 23 up till now. So, is it September 2323 that they're talking about? Because that date is kind of strange. 9-23-23. So, um, we'll just have to wait and see if there's anything happening. I know that the only thing that the devil can do, the Lord has, he has to get permission to do. Okay? And I keep telling you, as far as I'm concerned, we're living in these last days. And as a result of living in these last days, a lot of things are going to happen. We're in the time of judgment and um, just I don't I, I I'm I'm a loss for words because I, I just want to make sure you understand that these are for real the last days okay and things that are happening uh, more and more disasters the earthquake and uh, was it uh, Morocco uh, the death toll has gone up. My hearts go, hearts and prayers go out to the families of those victims and those who have been uh, severely, severely impacted by the earthquake. Um, we don't want to forget that at all. Uh, but I want to leave you with this verse. It's Psalms 31, verse 24, and it reads, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. And ye all ye that hope in the lord let me read that again be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart all you that hope in yahuwah okay he and his son are the only safety net that you need in these dreadful times in which we are living so just wanted to share that with you the thought about uh, predictive programming is out there be aware of it uh, it was on my mind and I wanted to come and share that with you so that you could be aware of September 23 23 if something goes down because a lot of times they have distractions when things happen and remember the meaning of, 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 of a false flag I've been hearing the word but the meaning of a false flag is a false a false flag operation is an act committed with the intent of disguising the actual source of responsibility and pinning the blame on another party. The term false flag originated in the 16th century as an expression meaning an intentional misrepresentation of someone's allegiance. Just be aware of a false flag because when things happen, they're going to have a distraction, something to distract you, okay? And then they'll blame it on some other party. And you'll believe it because you're caught up, all right? So just keep that in mind. Just wanted to share that, okay? So thank you again for stopping by and go on about your day. And I pray that you have a good day. May the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Until we meet again in the next video, shalom.